Good morning from Grand Junction. Taking my uncle's F-150 to the trailhead. We're going to Serpent's Trail, I think it is. But it's so cool. This is a neat truck. Its name is Snowflake. Here's Snowflake. It's really fun to drive. F-150. And then I'm at the trail right now, so I'm gonna get on there. It looks like it's gonna rain here soon. Trying to push it a little today. Yes, it was easy. Tomorrow's gonna be easy. So I need to really push myself today for the eight. It's raining. That's okay. A little rain there, anybody? Maybe I'll hurt my gimbal here. No, so I should put you away. There it is. So cool. It's windy and rainy. It's pretty windy. Today is kind of a annoying run, honestly. I'm like frustrated with my vest here. It's just too big. I have it like cinched all the way. I'll show you guys because it's tracking my face right now. <laughs> Can you see that? Anyways, it's just too big and like it's slashing all over the place. And I'm just getting so frustrated with it. So I'm going to go to REI and get a new vest. I I was gonna do a hard run and like, you guys can probably tell I'm like all frustrated right now. It is gorgeous, the rain stopped. I mean, this is why I trail run really. So stopping for this is fine. Getting to these views and getting to experience like nature is why I trail run, so I'm fine stopping now, but like stopping to fix my vest is so frustrating like I just want to run I don't want to stop and have to worry about that can you see that it keeps tracking my face but yeah so it's like cinched all the way the water bottles aren't even supposed to go here but they're not sloshing when I put them in there oh and I chose to wear my gloves too because I don't want to fall and hurt myself again all right let's get moving it's gorgeous Two hours until Jonathan lands. I'm so excited to see him. But I thought I'd show you guys what I bought at REI and the Target today to give you a little update on the vest shenanigans. I got myself this North Face vest, the Sunriser vest. It's an eight liter, um, and it's got two flasks that are 500 milliliters. That I think is very neat. They're very long, and the only thing that might be an issue is how small the opening is here. I'll show you what I'm used to, like this opening that looks like that. This is also a Hydro Pack. They're both made by Hydro Pack, but um, just like the opening's a little bigger on these, and this is kind of standard for that opening. So comparing the two... It's a little smaller for sure. But overall, I really like it. So it's got this zipper pocket. This is the same as a vest I really loved by Nathan. They had a little zipper pocket here. So the clips here are on a track, so you can move it up and down depending on um, the comfort. And they cinch down a lot, but it also, which I like, it cinches on the side here as well. So it's a little tighter if you wanna make it a little tighter. And then ample space for snacks here on the side. Seems like it's got really breathable fabric. Um, it's got a whistle right here. Uh, the front is just very simple and minimal. So it's got the two water pouches, two snack pouches that are really big, and then a zipper pocket here that I think my phone would fit in there, which is cool. The back is neat as well. Again, it's got those 
points that you can cinch down, uh, make it a little tighter around your body, which I find is my biggest issue is these vests just are too big for me. Um, I guess my rib cage is just smaller. So I like that you can, you can cinch it down in the front, which is normal with a lot of vests, but you can also cinch it on the side here to make it a little tighter, which I love. Uh, these points here, these points are like stretchy and I think these are made for poles, which I really like. I'm really happy about that because I have never had a vest that has like a pole attachment. Then this would be good for like a layer, just throwing a layer on this, um, this bungee cord here. And then the pocket in the back is very big put a lot of things in there very simple as well this was $89 at REI so a little expensive but I am happy with it at Target I got the pair of thieves boxer briefs for men in size small I got black and I got this fun little pattern I wore the men's boxer briefs my husband's actually on the Colorado Trail I wore a skirt over it and I thought they were just really comfortable. It's not tight. Like the shorts I'm used to running in are very compressed and it's, it's very tight and I get bloated easily when I'm running. So with these on the Colorado Trail, I just found that it was just really comfortable, very easy to take on and off if I need to use the bathroom really quick. The only thing with these is that they don't have pockets. I usually put my trash in the pockets of my shorts. So, I'm going to have to figure out another solution for that, but I'm really excited to try these out. I know it's going to look a little goofy with me running in men's boxer briefs during Run Rabbit, but oh well, it's all about being comfortable. Look who it is. <laughs> yeah, we well, yeah. all day dr flying for you. Yeah, I woke up at 5.30. Oh my Jeez. God. Texas time, so 4.30 your time. Yeah. Oh, Still at my aunt and uncle's. It is my 30th birthday, September 5th. I'm 30 years old. I feel like I've been preparing for 30 for the last four years. Ever since I turned 26 after finishing the Appalachian Trail, I always said, I'm like, I'm on the wrong side of 20. And I feel like I've been 30 for the last four years. <laughs> and now that I'm here, I was always nervous about 30, now that I'm here, I don't know, it feels fine and I feel great, so, um, having breakfast here at my aunt and uncle's, got some coffee, we're gonna hang around here until like noon or one and go to a yurt, do some uh, glamping in a yurt. I'll run whenever I get to the yurt. I'll just do, I have an easy seven miles, even though yesterday was kind of easy, the eight miles. That was such a frustrating run. But I'm gonna use my new vest today, so I'll let you guys know how it does. <laughs> Got eggs. Eggs. Birthday eggs. turn you around but don't make fun of us because of our windshield it is very dirty look at dead bugs but oh this is our view you looking forward to the yurt yeah we 
we are staying in the coolest place in Colorado. It's a yurt. This is his bathroom. I'll show you around. There's Jonathan over there. This is our view. This is the main area. We have three futon beds. A kitchen area. A dining table. We have some games here. We're gonna play Danger Noodle looks like a lot of fun. There is like zero cell service here. There isn't cell service for about an hour on either side. It was a little rough of a drive up here in the van. Well, I think it was rough. Jonathan doesn't think it was rough. It was no, he was driving the entire time. He said he was in control. It wasn't bad. This is the bathroom, which I'm actually surprised how nice it is. It's a pit toilet, so if you're an Appalachian Trail through hiker or really a backpacker of any sorts, you know the pit toilets very well. But it's so much nicer than what pit toilets are usually um, in. <laughs> it's a very nice bathroom. Band-aids. Yeah, this is, this is very, very nice in here. Yurt life. This vest at first was great. And then as I was sipping more water, it was jostling all about just like the other one I had. And then as I drink more water, it's actually really manageable now. So I think that's the key with this vest at least is to get to a certain point where it's not jostling around and drink the liquids. Uh, Drink enough liquid so it's not jostling me, essentially. Definitely feeling the altitude here. This is around 7,800 feet, and up at our place, it's around 7,000. I would guess like 8,000 something. Uh, so I definitely feel the altitude. Jonathan already went back up, so see if I can catch him on the uphill 